that we're in charge of people who make the ship move like it's supposed to move, and that we have enough power to do that. I supervise a watch team that supports safe reactor operation to provide propulsion for our carriers and our submarines. We oversee machinist mates, electricians, electrical technicians. There are 35 total officers just within reactor department on an aircraft carrier, compared to less than a dozen total officers for the whole submarine. The thing that drew me to the submarine the most was the camaraderie. Very small number of people, very close-knit group of people. Same maintenance requirements on the bigger aircraft carriers, but we have a group of people that's a quarter of the size that has to get the same job done. There's a lot of pride that you get. And so it's a completely different world um, split between submarines and aircraft carriers. I'm the reactor officer on board USS Theodore Roosevelt. I am the officer who's in charge of all of the department that runs both reactors, which provide steam to all four main engines, all four ship service turbine generators that provide electricity to the ship, as well as all four distilling units that we use to make fresh water from seawater. I went to the Naval Academy, and straight out of the Naval Academy, one of the options was to be a nuclear qualified surface warfare officer. I went to a surface ship and got my surface warfare officer qualifications, and then I went off to nuclear power training. We're actually with other officers who are either going to go submarines or to aircraft carriers. All of our prototypes are based on submarine plants, so all the principles are the same. It's very tough work, it's um, rewarding work, but you definitely work hard for it. Leading smart people is very difficult because uh, they're always trying to get one step ahead of you. But they also teach me too, and that's the great benefit of being a humble leader. So some of the advantages about being a nuke surface officer, being part of the action every single day, millions of dollars worth of equipment that you're in charge of. There is concrete accomplishments at the end of the day of seeing them fix things, seeing them maintain things, and keeping the ship operating.